to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to look at what's trending on the news. Now, very, very sad reports. Earlier on, I had mentioned the fact that the Universal Basic Education in Benue State had reported that over 20,000 primary school students had been forced out of school due to the insurgency in the Northeast. Now, it's unfortunate that we have all this going on. With reports by the um, UNICEF say, stating that we have about 10.5 million children out of school. Now, the statistics are dangling between 10.5 million and 13.5 million students out of school. We have the highest number of out of school children around the world, yet we're having challenges like this one. Now, this was reported by the chairman of the Benue State Universal Basic Education Board, Subeb. His name is Reverend Philip Tachin, and he was one who gave this explanation. He explained that of the number, close to 18,000 were taking refuge in various internally displaced persons camps established by the state government to cater for the needs of the victims of the crisis. Tachin made the disclosure at the weekend shortly after he led members of the board's management team on an inspection of completed and ongoing primary school projects constructed under the Benue State Government and the Universal Basic Education Commission UBEC Intervention Fund. He said, and I quote, the renewed herdsman attacks in 2018 also led to the complete destruction of structures in over 50 public primary schools in the affected areas and communities of the state. Now, this just goes to show the fact that at the end of the day, when we talk about insecurity in Nigeria, it affects everything. Recently, we had a report released by the National Bureau of Statistics about how we had fared in the second quarter of our GDP, with our GDP, and we saw that we had a drop in the oil sector as well as a drop in the agriculture sector. Now, the drop in the agriculture sector, sector was functional, was as a result of the insecurity going on in the Northeast, with the herdsman crisis as well. Now, we're seeing that also the education sector has been affected as well. We are, we are hoping that as soon as we can, that the government of our day, and even the incoming govern, government in 2019, we look at ways to ensure that they create and they enable um, our education system and our, our security, because in the moments where they sort out our security, that also can help with our education as well. To enjoy more of these our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.